Let's talk about user interface in Revit API. Well, the only way to create user interface is to use Windows Forms. But this is not an easy task for beginners. For example, here's the project that I'm working on. It has simple design, but here how it looks like inside. And uh, this is only user interface code. Well, yeah, I also was terrified when saw an example for the first time. But not everything is uh, so bad. You can use special software to generate code for your graphical part. Something as uh, Sharp Develop. It is an open source software. First, you can play with the creating buttons, labels, etc. to understand how it works. Also, you will need to learn how to work with the Python classes. I think uh, basic knowledge will be enough. In any way, it's pretty annoying to create dozens of times an interface for every script you have. This is how my tab looks like. Often I want to solve local tasks and I don't have much time on creating user input interface for my script. So here is another solution. For Dynamo users, uh, DataShapes package is the best way for creating user input interface. We also can use data shapes with the Python shell or PyRevit, just by copy-pasting its source code and correcting it a bit. Here how it works. In the script file we need to import a module script which contains interface code. Still, we don't have all functions from original nodes. I copied only buttons that I need, so feel free to improve it. You don't need to read all this data and try to understand. I'm gonna show how to create your buttons. Here is the output list. We need to add all the buttons uh, to this list. To create element select button, use UI select elements function. Input values are labels of button and boolean where we say to call revit select element or select elements function then append it to the output list to create checkbox use ui bool function input values are labels and its a default value here is a slider button input values are name minimum and maximum values, default value, and step. For text input use UI text function. And the last one is a drop-down menu. Here we need a couple of things. First, list of elements we want to put in. The best way here is to use filtered element collector, as we did it in previous lessons. I grab all the elements of wall category, then choose on the element types and take them as elements. Now I can create a drop down menu with the drop down function. Then with another function add all elements we want and finally add the button to the output list. Ok, let's try to get that values. We have output list, which name is result. Select button is uh, the first item in the list. Then a second item should be checkbox button. So you should to go on and on in the order you added your buttons to the output list. Here are our values. Let's check if it works. Our wall script will be a good example. 
let's create a user input for wall type and height. First button in output list will be a drop down menu and uh, second one string input. Now we need to create them. Let's find out what we need here. So here it is. And let's go back. Now I can insert a value to create method. For height parameter we need integer, so I'll convert input string to number. Everything looks fine, so let's check it. Ok, it works. So try to create input interface for other scripts. This will be a great uh, starting experience. Also don't forget to say many thanks uh, to Datashapes developers. See you in the next lessons.